Hello everyone, this is PC Windows Online, and I've got my Ubuntu desktop here. This is 12.04. Uh, this is the Beta 1 edition of the uh, operating system. I just installed it on here and it's working great. Uh, the new features is the new video search, which can go through to um, different sources like YouTube, TED Talks. I, uh, BBC iPlayer and all the different ones like that. That's a great addition to the uh, Ubuntu Dash, which is this bit here. This is included in Unity. So if we want to uh, change any of the colours or the theme of the desktop, we can now by just going into the Ubuntu Software Center and installing a program called My Unity. I've already installed it, so it's in my applications already, so I'm just going to click on it. And here we go, it's a really simple interface, it's nothing like Compass, it's just really simple and really easy to use. So as you can see I've got a, a nice uh, background wallpaper here, which I got off the ONG Ubuntu website. Uh, I'll give you the link in the description if you want the wallpaper. This is one of the ones what might be in the final version, so I put it on because I quite liked it. So it came up when I did put this wallpaper on it came up with this bar here which is called your um, I don't know what it's called I think it's launcher that's what it's called it's called a launcher this bit is called the launcher and it came up as red and I really didn't like that color so I installed this program and I set the color as you can see here to purple you can set it to any color you want really you can set it to blue and it will change to blue but I like that color as it is and I'm not going to change it so I just pressed OK and it changed the color straight away and also the transparency was was not even up, it was like that and it was too much for me so I turned it all the way down oh no that as you can see there's no transparency when I put it on zero so then when you put it to a hundred there is some transparency there um, I'll just leave it about there and then you can change the size also the size of the launcher uh, so you can make it smaller if you're on a netbook and make it larger if you can't see it because maybe you're um, eyesight's not that good or you just like it to be a bit bigger uh, you got your backlights which are on here as you can see here you've got your little backlight on these buttons here this one hasn't got a backlight and that one hasn't so I'm gonna go on to um, icons off and then we've got no backlight and then when you press it to open sorry about that turn that off and then if you go into your home folder which it should load. Remember this is a beta version of the operating system, it's going to be a bit buggy at the moment. It should come up with a backlight if you press on the only to uh, icon toggle. And you can see you ch you're changing the thing of it, so I'm just going to change it back to what it was, icons on. So there we go. Click out of that. So there you go. Uh, behavior is, and if you want it hidden, the launcher hidden, and then when you go like that, um, you can have it like that. There's all different manners of speed. So what else I did? I'm just going to show you what I did. Um, the panel at the top I made a bit transparent uh, to fit in with the theme because I didn't like it just as black. So I changed that a bit. The desktop I didn't change anything. The fonts I didn't change anything. You can have different themes now, uh, but I just like it how it is. Um, and the credits you can see who made um, my Ubuntu and all that good stuff. Anyway, thank you for watching this video. If you did like this video, remember to rate, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you next time. And uh, remember, this is the Ubuntu 11.04, the, the 12.04 version um, of the operating system. You can go and download that now. I'll leave a, a link in the description to the download of that, uh, which is the Beta 1 edition. It's looking very good and very stable, as you can see. Um, it's quite fast and... If, um, yeah, quite efficient. Thank you for watching this video again, and I'll see you next time.